Hey y'all. Okay, so I have been promising uh, y'all that I would go and take a look at my castle. Apparently there's something going on there that I don't know about yet. And it was Jeanne Sons that told me to go back and try to figure it out. So we're gonna go over there and see what I'm missing. All right, I don't think I can fast travel from here. Absolutely not. Oh, and I hope I don't get in trouble because <laughs> y'all know what happened last time. Oh no, look, the guy's already on me. Joel Ring the butler. Hi. I served Master Umbacano for many years. About him. Uh, why are you coming right up on me like this, huh? There's some fine light armor at the best defense. Mm -hmm. Talk to Maro Rufus. I'm hearing ya. What about Umbukanu? My master has not returned from his expedition to Nenalata. No, he hasn't. <laughs> I fear the worst, but Umbukanu Manor remains in my charge, and I will keep it in readiness for his return. Okay, buddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I'm not in trouble. That's good. Okay, I can't, I can't pass y'all. Come on, buddies. Oh, I know I have too many followers. I'm aware. Oh, and... Oh, hi. You uh, have the hands of an illusionist. Thanks, buddy. Excuse me. All right, let's just make sure we're not in any trouble. Okay, bounty zero. Good. We have a separate Shivering Isles bounty. Have not been there. Okay, let's see. Let's go back home, y'all. Okay. All right, so I wonder if we should check the grounds first, you think? All right, let's uh, let's take a look around. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Do you, wait, wait, wait. Do you know anything, buddy? Yes, ma'am. Hi. Uh, oh, return to your duties. All right. I thought you'd have information. Apparently you do not. All right, this is just a statue up here, but there is a gatehouse door. I guess we'll start here. All right, let's see. This is my light? Yeah. All right, I'll just, I'll search everything. Some messed up clogs. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrified to take those because I'm thinking that'll crash my game for, sur for sure, you know, for certain. An hourglass, I don't see how that would be. Oh, gold. I don't see how that would be anything. What about in this chest? A clay pitcher. Okay. Excuse me, buddies. It's a chair. Okay, another chest. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's go to the gatehouse. I don't really know what I'm looking for, y'all. So I'm, I'm sorry. This might, this might take a minute. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no, Martin! Oh no, everybody! Y'all all have <laughs> y'all all have sunburns in here. That's that's not great. That is not great. I found some tongs. I, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm looking for. All right, y'all. I may end up cutting a lot of this because it's basically just going to be me looking through containers until I see something of note. <laughs> Ow! Oh my goodness, I injured myself. Already I'm injured. Oh, I wonder if it's in here, though. The blacksmith's house. I've never been in here. <laughs> Maybe I should I have. Guess. Hey, buddy. Uh, do you know a anything? Pleasure to speak with you. Hi. Do you... Rumors? Nibane is a region of mixed farmland, parkland, and forest. Okay. Nice to know, buddy. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. Okay. Your house is kind of a mess, buddy. Am I allowed to look in this stuff? Is it illegal? It's not illegal, huh? No, this isn't Merwin. It'll tell me if it's illegal. <laughs> Ooh, a repair hammer. Oh, he can keep it, though. I don't have good enough weight carry for all that. He has an awful lot of ingredients. Is he... Is he going to be a problem? Because I'd really hate to lose my blacksmith. Ooh, gold. Oh, I just stole from my blacksmith. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about this cabinet? 
Nothing? Okay. Oh, goodness, what? Oh! Are... Did y'all see that little wolf just walk right in? <laughs> um... Is he supposed to be here? <laughs> Was that like the blacksmith's dog or something? I never noticed him before. Okay. This is where my horse used to be when I had one. And and that's right there is an oblivion gate. So that's great right outside my house. That's wonderful. All right, let's go inside, see what we can find. Hey buddy, are you gonna talk to me? No? Okay. All right, y'all, top to bottom. You well, Martin, you don't have a sunburn, and Gilbert, you don't either, but my other two friends, absolutely. Let's see, do I have stuff to drop off at my rum? The crown of Nalata. Could drop that off. Look at how much it's worth. Goodness. My. I don't know, part of me's thinking I should wear it, but... What does my Helm of the Crusader do? It fortifies my personality, which is, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> I really need that. <laughs> well, I, let me see what I look like. Well, oh goodness, you know what I'm thinking? Is it gonna do something to me? Cause it, it did something to Umbukanu. Sure, sure. I just want to see myself in it. Let's just, I cannot equip this item. Why not? I can't equip it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I can't, I can't put it on anyway, I guess. I guess they're trying to say it would hurt me. <laughs> hey, buddy. Well, since I can't put it on, might as well drop it off. That's too bad. I wanted to see what I'd look like in it. Uh, let's see. Why does this still say Lord Calvin's chest? It's my castle now. It's no longer his. This is not where I'm putting my outfits. This is where I'm putting my outfits. All right, let's just put you in here, please. Thank you. All right, that's good. I don't think it had weight. Do I have any scrolls? I don't seem to have any scrolls. Okay. There you go. Put How are you? Hello. How did these books get on my shelf? How do I get books on my shelf? <laughs> Do I have to just place them by hand? Because that would be annoying. Let's see, I think I can put this away. Yeah. Reversal tune. I don't know why I have this. Alright, I can put it away though. It's so like Calvin's will. Maybe there's something in his will that could indicate something? I don't know. Can't put that away, that sucks. Can I put away the sketch of the high fame? Yeah. Wine ingredient, an old faded note. Okay, I, I'm forgetting why I have certain. I have the deed to Frost of uh, Craig Spire. I haven't. <laughs> I mean, this is the only house I have. Oh wait, besides the one in Anvil, I have the one in Anvil, the haunted one. So I don't know what that's all about. I, I'll read that later. This one, I want to see if it has any indication of what's what's to be found here. Uh, okay. So I've read this already, so I'm just gonna scan it. I didn't really see anything of note. Uh, don't remember what I have that in my inventory for, let's see. Primary sites, what is this for? The altars have been raised, I, I can't remember y'all. Watch the skies one week his grace shines down on us. I don't know where I got that or why. <laughs> it's been too long. Uh, this is the one I wanted to read. This is a worn and faded note written on a scrap parchment and secured by a piece of rawhide to the vampire's neck. Okay, this is one of my vampire quests. My name is Gohola Gro Mezgo. My companion's names are Aranalda Nil Elfdada, Avida Cassiana, and Omar Grakar. The vampire Dretic died by our hands, but the price was dear. Oh, this is, yes, this is Azora. Okay, I don't need this anymore. I don't need this anymore. 
I can put that away. I don't need that anymore. Okay. Well, that wasn't very helpful. How about that? How about Have that? you heard any word about the other provinces? This tapestry Nothing seems like to be hiding that. something. Why would uh -huh. they put this heard tapestry? Any news from the other provinces? Excuse there are me. rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Solstice. Oh, both the tapestries are doing that. That's just on the island. That doesn't mean anything. The Nords have always been protective of their territory. <laughs> it's no wonder they get involved in these disputes. In these disputes. Bye. See, I have books, but I don't know how to place more books, which is an irritation to me. I'm very Greetings irritated. Greetings to you. Greetings. I like. I kind of like Merwin's placement, where you can kind of uh, place it when you put it on the ground. I mean, it's not perfect, but I do like it. There's not really much in my room Good that I see you. hi that I haven't explored. I don't think I got these shelves that are completely unusable. I have this, which I haven't figured out how to use. Yeah, Good I don't think. See you. I don't think that it would be in my room. In my cupboard. That's where I put all my ingredients now. All right, let's try somewhere else. You have the hands of an illusion. Thanks, buddy. I think we should find your friend Joffrey at once. I'm with you. That was creepy. I didn't mean to to do that. All right, we're in the dining hall. I'm really not seeing anything, y'all. I'm really not. But I also have no clue what I'm looking for. Alright, I'm in my room. I haven't really... I don't... Uh, I don't have any containers hello. in my room. What's going on with you? I mean, could I ran it into a couple of mud crabs not long ago? I think it's strange that these tapestries are covering up these benches. I mean, maybe there's something on one of these benches hidden. Goodbye. Well done. I don't see anything in there. That one's completely exposed. This one, let's see. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't see anything over there either. Okay, that one's completely exposed. A movable pillar. Well, that certainly is suspicious. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't behind a tapestry, but those things did matter. <laughs> All right, so we have some healing potions in here. I shouldn't be taking too much. Else we got a paintbrush. Oh, so it reveals a treasure. Uh, this isn't much of a treasure. Wait, is the treasure in here? Calipers. <laughs> I came here for calipers. <laughs> Ooh, this is a jewelry box. 10 gold, a bronze amulet, not really worth much. A silver nugget, not really worth much. Uh, I thought that was a ladder. A broom, don't need a broom. This can't be it. Can I close myself in? I can close myself in. I don't know if I want to do that. That seems unwise. Uh, oh, look at this. Oh, nice. Where are we? Right by the Oblivion Gate. Okay, we're up on the roof. This just must be the Arches saddle. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Well, this is nice, but what's the point? Should I jump down? I don't really see a point in that. Great view of the Oblivion Gate, though. Oh, it gave me an autosave. I better get rid of that. Okay. Uh, should I climb the roof? Is that something I should be doing? I could probably jump on these. I'm a little afraid to do this, but... Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do that. Okay, if the answer's up there, I, don't, I really don't want to do that. That seems dangerous, and it seems like I might fall through or something. 
Well, I guess the only thing I can do is jump down, but what's the point of that? Because then I just get up there. What's the point of being up here? Yeah, I don't get why I should be up here because I can access- Oh! Hey, buddy! <laughs> you scared me. Uh, yeah, I don't really see the point because I can access that just by climbing. Let's go back. I guess that's it. It's just like a treasure. Oh, look, a journal. I hope I have done well. I don't know. Perhaps I should tell the others. But what hope would they have then? I will have to tell Kelvin. One day, when it is time for him to assume the lordship of the castle, he at least may forgive me, as I am his father. Oh, so this is Lord Kelvin's father. I must collect my thoughts. Lord Kane returned last night while the others were gone to the city. Thank O.C. it was only myself and Garadin, fateful friend. I have sworn him to secrecy. Secrecy of what, buddy? He was only too happy to let me take responsibility for what we did. Later, I am more resolved than ever that the others must never find out. They must never know what Lord Cain has become. Our liege lord. We sacrificed everything for him. What did y'all sacrifice? I will set it all down here, clearly, so that others may judge whether I have done right or wrong. When Garadon woke me to tell me that Lord Khan had arrived, I keep calling him a different thing. Lord Cain is what I said, I think, had arrived. I was overjoyed at first. Garadon's grim face warned me that all was not well, but he would not tell me what was wrong. Only that Lord Cain was accompanied by Aril Gerard, a name to freeze blood a Breton battle mage of sinister reputation in Landlin. I, I could feel from his name that he was a battle mage. Lord Kane was waiting in the Great Hall with Arel. He was heavily cloaked. Unsurprisingly, it was a foul night. But I wondered why he had not removed it upon entering the castle. I greeted Lord Kane warm warmly, ignoring his companion for the moment, but when he spoke, it was only haltingly and with a grating edge that I had never heard before. Where are the others, was all he said. Ariel quickly intervened, explaining that Lord Cain was unwell and needed a place to rest. I don't trust any of this. By the time Cain was abed, I was fully alarmed. He moved like an old man and barely spoke in my presence. He left a foul odor in his wake and remained cloaked until I left him in my chambers. I then demanded Ariel explain herself, which she was only too willing to do. Her story was appalling. Apparently, Cain had perished in battle shortly after we left. But by her arts, she had returned him to life? You should never do that and now planned to gather an army of knights to resume the war against Baron Shrike. Her eyes glittered with pride as she told me all this. She is so far gone in madness and evil that she actually believed that I would go along with her plan to install a necromantic puppet on the throne of Lenlin. For all Baron Shrike's cruelties, he at least is mortal and would one day pass on rule to an heir. Somehow, I was able to hide my shock from Ariel and pretended to agree to her plan. The other knights will need to have Lord Kane's condition explained to them before they see him, I told her. Otherwise, the surprise of seeing him may lead to some regrettable actions. Well, what would happen to him if he's immortal? Thinking quickly, I suggested that, he, that she tend to Lord Kane in the grotto until I had prepared the others. She agreed without suspicion. I wonder if her mind has become disordered by her evil practices. My performance could not have been all that convincing. Once they were inside, I shut them in with Garadan's help. May Truwaka have mercy on Lord Kane's soul. As for Ariel, I wish nothing but endless night on her foul spirit. I've had workmen cover up the doorway. There's a secret doorway? Okay. Uh, only a few of the others were ever aware of that passage behind the training room. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, a lead this time, a decent lead. 
Luckily, Calvin was not among them. I'll have to come up with some story to satisfy those who ask about the grotto or tell them the truth and face the consequences. Okay, good. At least this time, I won't take forever. This is Lord Jaren's journal. Lord Jaren. Who was Jaren again? Hold on, he was mentioned. Uh, I was about to say, at least this time, it's not going to take me forever to find what I'm looking for. All right, let's see. Lord, here we go. He was mentioned in the will. I, Lord Calvin, son of Jaren. Okay, son of Jaren. Lord Calvin was son of Jaren. So, wait, let me, I, I'm trying to understand. He at least may forgive me as I am his father. I hope I've done well. I will have to tell Calvin one day. Okay, it's his father. I must collect my thoughts. So who, was Lord Cain... Was Lord Cain related to them? It was Lord Calvin. So Calvin was son of Jaren, a sworn knight of the True Hawn. So he was a knight. He was not originally master of this house. I'm, I'm assuming Lord Cain was, which is a worthy assumption to make. They were exiled from their homeland of Leyland in Hammerfeld after a failed battle to dethrone Baron Strike. Lord Cain ordered us to split up. So that was his lord. And apparently, let's see. They waited for Lord Cain's message and the message never arrived. Well, that's because he had been necromanced. That's why. He'd been, he'd been hidden away in his own castle. So they never heard from him. That's why this castle didn't have an owner. That's why I took over because he's been hidden away in his own castle. And, and, and Kelvin didn't know. Okay, we gotta head to the training room, y'all. I'm excited. It? This is gonna be a fight. I already know this is gonna be a fight. Evening. Goodness, this took me forever to find too. I don't even know where my training room is. I'm so, I'm so uh, unused to my own house. It's too big. I've been in there. <laughs> I trained in there. This is the taxidermy guy. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I was just down here. I don't know why it always takes me so long to find this place. All right, I should have brought the book with me. I forgot. <laughs> I'm looking for a secret door. I didn't bring the book. That's great. Let's see if one of these pillars <laughs> is, is uh, movable. <laughs> Being as there are just movable pillars in my house now. Okay, I'm looking for a door. I, I, there is something happened down in the shrum. I don't know if y'all remember or if I was recording at the time when I was training, but something happened in the shrum where I went through something. I think that's why, because maybe I went through the door without knowing. Oh my gosh. It, it was it was terrifying. I was training with my with my guy here, and it happened. Do these pillars are these recessed? Oh, do the lights do something? <laughs> uh, I watch videos about people with like secret rooms, and I've seen a lot. Well, I mean, I, all of us have seen a lot of like secret rooms where like books come down or candles get pulled. So that's why my mind is running this way. Also the pillar. It said training room. I'm in the training room. I'm not seeing any door. I'm not seeing anything that looks like it's covering up a door, except these small goofy recesses in the walls, but don't do anything. Is it is it in the back, back here? Do these candles move? Oh, yep. Oh god, I hate this. I hate this. Alright, that that yep, yep. Okay. Whoa, okay. Alright, chill. <laughs> I'm so upset. Okay, I, I should probably do my magic and get my sword out. Okay. Oh, this is creepy. We're about to see an undead guy. Why? Why does the door have to make that noise? Okay, there's some torches in here. I guess they thought we'd need them. Okay. Okay, okay. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. This is creepy! 
Why did they have to make me creepy? Hello? Hello, I'm upset. Oh, okay, one of these probably moves. Yep, okay. Up, oh, up, oh, move, 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 move. Hello? Oh my gosh. Does one of these move? No? Okay. Oh man. Okay. 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 Up. Oh, up. Oh. He's a lich. He's a lich. Okay. Oh god. That's water. That's water. Hey. Oh, you're Ariel. Hello. You became a lich. Well, um, I hate that there's water down there. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. You fight him. You fight him. You fight him. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, let's see what was on her. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Some bone meal, a, a decrepit note. All right, a lich key. All right, we'll take that. All right, let's look at the decrepit note, y'all. I've got chills. I don't like this as water right there. All right, come on, where's that decrepit note? Where is it? That's just a note. I need a decrepit note. I keep forgetting everything's in alphabetical order. Okay. Ignorant fool, I could have delivered Leyland to him and more, but this time is no consequence to me any longer. While he is growing old, I will only be growing stronger. To wait the day that I will return and claim my rightful place among the powers of this world. The darkness is not so bad. I have come to like it. My companion is not very talkative, but it is just as well. I see now that my procedure was somewhat flawed. You think? The flesh was not fully imbued with life as I intended, but his spirit remains strongly bound. He will provide me with an excellent taste test subject as long as I am careful to do no permanent damage. Oh, that's terrible, buddy. He's alive and you're doing bad stuff to him. Sometimes I awaken and I do not know where I am or what I have been doing. How to tell the passage of time here? Why should it matter to me? I believe the change is coming over me quickly now. My Lord, Madame Marco, <laughs> would be pleased. Of course he would. Deep night darkness. Sometimes sleep under moon invisible. Howl sweetly so sweet. My darkness, silence. Oh, real creepy at the end there, okay. Oh my, oh no, okay, did y'all know about this? <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> All right, we're, we're saving, we're saving because I'm terrified, I'm terrified, I'm very upset. Of course it ends this way, of course it ends in water. It couldn't just end normal, it's just gotta be, oh my goodness, and you are badly sunburned, Gilbert. Look, Martin, he knows, <laughs> he knows, he's like, no, we're not doing this, are we? Oh my gosh. At least he's looking upon it with discernment. I really hate how the rocks are just like, I can't, I can't really tell how deep this is. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, what's that crystal doing? What is it doing? Oh, I'm upset. Is there, oh look, the head's off that one. Is there something up here that I can, I mean this, they made this place pretty nice, huh? Oh, oh yes, okay. Uh, that was nice. Okay. Oh, oh, y'all killed Lord Kane. Okay. <laughs> I left Lord Kane to die up here. <laughs> that was Lord Kane. Oh, here's, ooh, Dragon Sword of Lane Lin. Uh, fire damage, absorb fatigue. Yeah, I'll take it. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Thank you. Uh, light, 10 feet on self. Nice. Take the shield, his shield. And he's got some bone meal. His shield looked nice. Let's take a look. Ooh. I don't think I have to go in the water, y'all. I think I got upset for no reason. I just want to see a sword. Ooh, look at it. <gasps> look at the little snakes on it. That's beautiful. That is a beautiful sword. Let's look at his shield, too. Where is his shield? There. Nope. Where is his shield? Oh, wait. Shield. Oh, okay. I I'm not really liking the look so much as I do the sword. See, let's put Spellbreaker back. That's nice, though. I'm happy. Is it, wait, wait, is it more powerful than the Sword of Crusader? Fire, damage, magicka, 40 on strike. Hmm. The fire's 14. No, this is about a sword. This is about a sword, y'all. Yeah, look, the damage, it, uh, well, it's not as light. The damage is a bit better. Let's use it. The only problem with it is that I can repair my Sword of the Crusader for free. 
I, not so much the dragon sword, but that's nice. Ooh, look at it. <gasps> oh, man. Thank you for telling me about this. This is really cool. I don't know what that crystal's about. I'm not going over there, but this is cool. And look at all these Verilis stones. Oh, <laughs> I'm over in combat. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Do I have anything I can make? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. All right. Oh, wait. I don't have to do that. Remove. I can create stuff without doing do anything. Let's see. I wasn't using that for anything though, huh? Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually heavier now. Let's see. I don't think I was using this for anything. Pretty sure I wasn't. Probably should destroy my Minotaur horns though. I don't think I was doing anything with Minotaur horns. I'll keep one. Okay, I'm good. Okay. I think I think that's it. Besides maybe going to look at that uh, crystal. But I'm scared to go over there by that crystal. Oh, I'll try it because I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that completes the quest or something. Ooh, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I touch it? Can I touch it? Is it touchable? Megalair, go over there and touch it, please. Ah! Mm, okay. Okay, nothing's happening with it. Okay, nothing's happening with it. All right, nothing's happening. <laughs> Y'all are gonna have to let me know if there's more to it, but <laughs> there we go, this. <laughs> oh, gosh. I have the sword. <sighs> I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching, and if you liked the video, don't be afraid to subscribe. Bye, y'all.